Pressure is mounting on the government to end the ongoing teacher strike that is set to enter its third week tomorrow, threatening to change the already altered school calendar. At the beginning of the year, the school calendar was adjusted to accommodate the general election and the ongoing stalemate, if unresolved immediately, will adversely affect learning in public schools. Political leaders in Western Kenya threw their weight behind the teachers, saying their demands for higher allowances are justified. <laughs> Lazima walipe mshahara yao. Kwa ni mkataba uliwekwa saa hii miaka 16 iliyopita. Serikali yetu ikae chini na walimu wasemezani. Mimi najua ndio wanaweza kusema ujumi sijui kwa namna gani. Lakini kukaa chini kwa meza kuongea ni vizuri. Led by Bugoma Senator Moses Wetangula, the leaders urged the teachers union not not to sit ground, terming the government's intended move to roll out the laptop program to class 1 pupils as a misplaced priority. The Senate Minority Leader said the collective bargaining agreement signed between the teachers and the government in 1997 is still binding and should be honored. They accused the government of failing to resolve the settlement through its hardline stance urging the government to heed teachers' demands. The government yesterday reportedly made overtures to the giant teacher union and there is hope that the meeting will see both parties compromise on hardline positions. NAT had been demanding that the government implement legal notice 534 of 1997, while the government has been insisting on the implementation of legal notice 16 of 2003. Marion Canary, Weekend Edition.